You were really open about attempting, well, you tried to strip and it didn't work out? Yeah, stripping ain't work out for me, cuz. Really, I'm a funny girl. Like, I'm not, I don't know how to be sexy and shit. Like, niggas be laughing at me. Like, I didn't even know how to really dance on a pole. Like, that shit didn't work out for me. Like, niggas used to tell me when I was in a strip club, they used to be like, why you here? Like, you don't even belong here. Like, just, I just didn't fit in there, but I always stood out. That's the crazy part. I never fit in with bitches, but I always stood out. And when I was dancing, I used to cry. Like, I used to cry on a pole. It was so fucking embarrassing like I used to cry like I didn't want to be there I didn't want to dance for niggas like I just want no nigga throwing no money at me I throw the money I'm the one with the money like that's how I feel no nigga gonna throw no money on me I hate niggas so you're in the strip club crying yeah I was crying and shit niggas want to be talking to me I'm drinking and then I just start thinking about my life I'll be like damn bitch my ass not even fat like that like these fat <laughs> fat booty stripper hoes making all the fucking money these red hoes in the strip club making all the fucking money. Niggas don't want no petite girl like me. They they didn't want that. They wanted the bitches with the nice old asses and the big titties, and I couldn't afford that. Couldn't afford to look like that. So stripping ain't work out for me. I tried to do it so I can get out of my situation. That didn't work. But it worked for other people, but it didn't work for me. Now, when you said it didn't work for you, is that like, you know, as far as like the money, the money in, like making money or a mental... Was it more it was mental or was it you weren't making I enough like money? I wasn't making, I wasn't making enough. Like I was working at this club called Wax in Atlanta. And let me tell you, all the hoes in there were selling pussy. So it was like, niggas ain't want to pay for bitches to dance. Like I'll go in there ready to dance. Got my little outfit, got my hair done. I feel real good. And these hoes is back there fucking for 40 and $30. Niggas like, uh-uh, I'm spending my money with the hoes that sucking dick. So I couldn't even make mm. my payout. I couldn't pay the DJ. Like, I was just like, what the fuck is this? Like, this is supposed to be my life. Like, I hated it. I hated it. Like, literally, I hated my life before who I am right now. I hated it. I would never go back there. And how long did, how long did stripping last? Stripping lasts you? about, I mean, okay, so dancing in Atlanta, it lasts about a week. <laughs> <laughs> I pop pussy for a week. It ain't work. And I moved to Atlanta. I had $300 on me. I had my kids. All I had was my grandma. I had $300. I'm like, damn, I can't find a job. I've been doing applications and shit. All I got is $300. Let me go to the stripper store and buy some thongs and some high thigh boots and shit. Went to the strip club. I made a couple of dollars. It wasn't enough for me. Not for me.